हेलो गईज वेलकम बैक टू वंस अगेन माई यूट्यूब चैनल कोड बी टी के सो सो गईज टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन एस के एल सो टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ज्वाइंस बेसिकली सो वॉट इज ज्वाइंस वाई वी आर यूजिंग ज्वाइंस टाइप्स ऑफ ज्वाइंस वॉट आर द एडवांटेज ऑफ ज्वाइंस राइट दैट वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द सेशन सो आज यू कैन सी इन द सेशन यू विल लर्न टू क्वेरी डेटा बाई यूजिंग ज्वाइंस query data by using sub queries this is agenda of the chapter so let's see step by step how can we proceed so joins are allow you to retrieve data from related tables in a single result set definitely suppose table 1 plus table 2 once you combine together to make another result set right so so result set going to make a single result set right like suppose a plus b so a plus b equals to so third variable i have take as c so c equals to a plus b so c is a third variable whose the value of a and b right so can be of following types inner outer join cross join equal join and self join now let's see one by one each of them so an inner join retrieve records from multiple table after comparing value and present in common column what do you mean so retrieve record from multiple table obviously For creating joins, definitely we have a need more than one table. We cannot perform joins on the individual table. Point to be noted, guys. Okay. So make sure once you create a join, so first of all we have a more than one table. Then we are able to perform the joins. What do you mean by common column? Common attribute means suppose I have table one and table two. So table one has suppose employee ID and table two has also employee ID. So in both table employee ID is common. So that is called common attributes. Okay. Sorry. Retrieve only those row that satisfy the join condition in the common column. So we are going to retrieve that row. Those are satisfy the join condition based on the common attribute, common column, like employee ID. I told you. So see the syntax. Select columns, number of columns. You can take C column name, column names from table name. Okay, table one name and join and table two. On keyword which table? So table one name. Reference of the column. How many column we want to get the reference or reference? Once we are accessing, we have to always use the dot delimiters here. So dot delimiter always access the column reference object. Join operator which join you looking for like inner join, outer join, full outer join, any specific one you have to mention. Table two name and the column references. Okay. Then next an outer join display the result set containing all the row from more. one table and matching row from another table display none for none matching record means those record will not match so that will display null value null means empty blank means there is no value so each of the following types left outer join right outer join full outer join so did you see guys in inner join we don't have any types of the inner join whereas in an outer join we have a three types of join left outer join right and full outer join let's see one by one so syntax for this outer join select column name from table and see the three types of join i mentioned together which one we need we can use it from here table 2 and the references of the column okay so left outer join return all row from left table left side table return the matching row from the table specify on the right side did you see for example return all row from the special offer product table and the matching row from the sales order details okay we are going to see practically let me tell you very important thing guys before go for the practical for the joins you should know the theory parts if you know the theory parts then you are able to understand better you will understood well all of you okay So first of all, what is joins? Why we are using joins? What are the syntax of the joins? What are the similarity of the joins between? Right. So first of all, we have to know about it. What is this? Why we are using this? Then we can implement finally. Like suppose I am showing direct practically, you are not able to understand. Okay. So first of all, we have to cover up the practical parts. Then we have theory parts. Then we go for the practical. Okay. So let's see. Right outer join return all the row from the right side table. See where right side table return the matching row from the table is specify on the left side. Okay, so return all the row from 
the sales portion okay matching the row from the sales directory table full outer join is a combination of left outer join and right outer join okay is a combination of left outer join and right outer join so return all the matching and then matching row from both the table so full outer join the combination of left outer join as well as right outer join okay for example as you can see combine the records of the board table and returns matching and then matching row from both the table okay next cross join is also known as a cardesis product join each row from one table with each row of the other table so combine the records of the both table to display the total price of the computer with all the possible combinations so this is syntax of this we are going to see practically by own table okay equis join what does equis join what do you mean so it is the same as a inner join and joins the table with the help of foreign key like i taught you previous foreign key if same primary key take reference more than one table is known as a foreign keys so is used to display all the column from both the table right so applies a like equis join between the employee department history employee and department table using the common column employee id next one and last self join a self join so joins a table with itself self join always join itself self join never taking reference with other table is just working on the individual table individual i mean single table and correlates one row in the table with other row in the same table uses the table name twice by giving the two alias name in the query so here alias name, like i just told you we have to use the as keyword for the alias name do you remember so as keyword using as keyword you have to define your own column name temporarily right so temporarily are able to define the own keywords own name using the as keywords okay so there are the problem statement you are going to work okay so uh, we are going to see practically how we are going to work on this okay so in next video we are going to see practically so guys let me tell you one thing in entire join inner join is a most probably we have to use why because inner join always work on the common column common attributes right the retrieve records from multiple table and after comparing the values first we what does first we compare the values okay where in inner join first we compare the values then we have to go for where we going to select the matching row how many rows are comparing and matching the attributes means common attribute common means in both table they are matching in both table right like in table 1 and table 2 as well based on the common attribute and retrieve only those row retrieve only those row that satisfy the join condition in common attribute right like i told you table 1 table 2 so table 1 has also employee id table 2 has also employee id right so based on, based on the common attribute we are going to compare the one we are going to retrieve the records from multiple table okay so it's very interesting in next video we are going to see practically so that's it in this video thank you so much see you next video bye guys